Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this limit problem right here. And so the very first thing that I'm going to do to try to solve this problem is by plugging in zero and see what happens. And if you plug in zero, you get sine parentheses four times zero is zero, so I'll put zero, divided by six times zero. And sine zero would give us zero, and six times zero is zero. Because of this, this is a big red flag that we have to do something different to solve this problem. Now, this problem involves some special trig, and I have this as a reference to the side. That's what we're going to use. Also, in the description box of this video, there are specific limit videos where I categorize problems. So check out the description box. Anyway, to solve this problem, what we're going to do is rewrite this. So limit x approaches 0. You can have your parentheses sine parentheses 4x divided by 6x. And we see something here. If you had instead sine x divided by x, then it equals 1. We're going to apply this property in that what we're going to do is if this inside piece is say 4x, then the denominator also needs to be 4x. So what we're going to do is actually multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4. And I'll show you why we're doing this. And so once we do that, we can actually rewrite what we have. And what we could do is have our sine 4x in the numerator and in the denominator, instead of saying 6x, we're going to put a 4x. Now, this stuff isn't disappearing or anything. So this 4 is still staying. This numerator 4, it's not here. So it still needs to say. This 6 can disappear. It needs to go here. So all we did was switch this 6 here and the 4 over here, which is allowed because this is saying 6x times 4, which is 24x. This is saying 4x times 6, which is 24x. So we're not doing any changes. All we're doing is rearranging. And again, the reason we're doing this is to apply this property. Limit of x approaching 0 for sine x divided by x gives us 1. This is the same thing as if you had sine parentheses 4x divided by 4x. And so when you apply the limit of x approaching 0, this piece right here would give us a 1. But this piece is still 4 divided by 6. So 4 divided by 6. And when you multiply 1 times 4 divided by 6, you get 4 divided by 6. And you can simplify this if you divide the numerator and denominator by 2 you would get 2 divided by 3, and this right here is our final answer. And that's all we need to do to solve this problem. Again, check out the description box for other limit problems.